you know, I started comedy in San Francisco, and this guy would pop back into the Bay every once in a while, and he's a true Bay Area legend, and now he's a Los Angeles legend. You've seen him on Conan. You've seen him on Kimmel. Start clapping right now for Tony Kameen. time for Orion, wasn't he great? Oh, oh you guys, it's so nice you guys come out. I got, I admit, I'm probably I'm a little out of it. Uh, that's not even the uh, joke yet. Um, I was working in Palm Springs, great club, great hotel. However, I didn't get hardly any sleep because there was a couple having the loudest and craziest sex for hours and hours, right? on the internet, and uh, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm paying for, I had to watch, I'm paying for it, you know, so, uh, my hands were tied, <laughs> uh, which sort of defeats the purpose there, oh, I wish I was dead, anyway, my name is Tony, I'm, 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 no, it's nice to be here, I, uh, I'm from Mountain View, California. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, okay. That's the perfect response. Yeah, I'm for, yeah, Al, yeah well, it's, that's Cupertino, ma'am. Weird heckle, but, um. Welcome to California, huh? No, I'm from Mountain View. If you don't know Mountain View, but that's, that's where Google is. If you don't, yeah, if that's where Google is. And if you don't know what Google is, Bing it. <laughs> that joke kills in Seattle, you guys. <laughs> just kidding, it does about the same. Yeah, I was just back in Mountain View uh, over the holidays because I'm a good son and you can borrow some money. And um, got to see everybody there. And, and, and Google's testing out their self-driving cars they, they, uh, all over Mountain View. Uh, they're called Waymo's, that's the, the subdivision, whatever, and they're zipping around all over. They still have a, they still have a person in the car, uh, you know, I don't think it's legal yet. And one of these things almost hit me. Yeah, over the holidays, I'm walking uh, across uh, the biggest El Camino Real, if you have to know. It's a bigger, it's a, okay, well, it's our biggest. It's all we got, really, but I mean, besides Google. I'm walking across the, about this, walk across the El Camino there, and one of these things screeches to a halt, barely misses me, and I'm like, what the fuck? You know? And the, the person inside the car was like, yeah, what the fuck? To the car. <laughs> he, he passed on my what the fuck message. <laughs> also, I thought he was a little team human, like, yeah, fucking taking my job, uh, what the fuck? I would have stopped. You know, and I was I, I was curious of what's the what's the you know what's the usefulness of self-driving cars? If you if you're going to go someplace and you can drive, why not? It's something to do. Then I realized, oh yeah, road rage is going to be awkwardly dissipated. You know, <laughs> you'll get in some fender bender and you'll be like, man, what the fuck? And the other guy'll be like, dude, I was asleep in the back seat. I don't even know why you're <laughs> involving me into this conversation, huh? <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get a beer and let these cars work it out. <laughs> They go off, they're best friends now, you know, and the cars are like, fuck you, no, fuck you. It's so accurate, the artificial intelligence. Yeah, it was nice to be back home in the Bay Area. I got to see my family, my dad, great. I have, my dad's a, a great uh, dad. Uh, he was a cheap father, though, growing up. True story, when I was a kid, I loved fish, fishes. My dad, too cheap to take me to the, Dan the San Francisco Aquarium. This cheap bastard, he would just take me to the fish market yeah, look, son, there's the majestic halibut. <laughs> Shh, they sleep in piles. <laughs> My dad, those are breaded. <laughs> That's their blankie, son. It's cold. It's cold in freezers. He's cheap. I'm, I'm cheap. It rubs off on me. I'm cheap. I'm hyper for thrifty. I like that term. I like the old 99 cent store. You guys have those? Not out here. It's too rich to have. Do you have ninety-nine dollar stores out here? Which... <laughs> They're fun stores because you go in and you see brands and products you see nowhere else. You know, you're like, oh my god, I had no idea. Pennzoil makes a chili. Look at that. 
30 weight from carne, that sounds... <laughs> yeah, they're fun, you know. I, I was at the biggest one I've ever been to in my life. It was right outside San Diego. It was called um, Mexico. And um, <laughs> yeah, that's a racist joke. If you laughed at that, you're a racist person. <laughs> I'm allowed to tell that joke because my stepmother is Mexican, all right? So lighten up. Actually, she's my real mom. But since she's Mexican, I tell people that she's I know, she hates that joke. Thank God she can't understand it. Otherwise, I would be in so much trouble now. Right now. God bless her. Got to see my grandma over the holidays. 98-year-old lady, Grandma Piccolo. Yeah, funny little Italian lady about this big. Actually, this year about that big. Every year it's gonna be, that, I think that's how she's finally gonna go is, oh, well, there went grandma. Died doing what she loved, shrinking a little bit every year. That was her passion. And she's funny, we were watching football over the holidays uh, a couple years ago, and one of the uh, players got hit right in the crotch with the ball, and she goes, oh, he got it right in the gizmo. And I thought, yes, thank you, grandma. That's how I want my grandma to think of a penis, as a gizmo. Okay, because a gizmo is a gadget or a contraption that one is unfamiliar with. And I like that in a grandma penis relationship. You know, I don't want to refer to that part of the body as something she's fond of. Uh -uh. You know, say the guy gets hit with the ball. Oh, he got it right in the heart candy. Mm. I love to suck on big black heart candy. Grandma, what the fuck? Yeah, she's uh, 98. I'm going to be 60 this year. I'm old. It's, oh, it sucks. It sucks to be old. I had to lose a bunch of weight. My doctor told me I had a fatty liver, which I just thought was rude. I'm like, well, you have a fatty wife. Uh, <laughs> it can't be the medical. Why are you? I'm all fat. Why are you fat shaming my liver? <laughs> Turns out that's the medical term. I'm like, who named it? Doogie Hauser? It's a fucking most immature medical condition. You don't know, suit someone who's, who's obese. Oh, you have a fatty everything. <laughs> yeah, so I had, to, I had to lose a bunch of weight. And I'm still, you know, I, look at 140. I'm still, no, I can't be, I'm always going to be, I have boobs and a big belly. But look at these wrists. I have the wrists of a nine-year-old Asian violinist. Look at this. <laughs> this watch goes all the way around. It's like on the last, it's a child's. It's on the last thing. You can't work on your wrists. I'm just getting, I, you know, I'm just getting older and angrier as a white guy, you know, you just get angry for no reason. True story. The other day, guy parks in front of my house. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> Thanks a lot, you guys. That's it for me. I'm gonna, you guys have been awesome. You guys are awesome, and I'm excited to bring up this next guy. I work with him in Atlanta. He's such a funny dude. You may know him from Paramount Plus. Please welcome Michael Albanese, everybody. Give it up for Tony, huh? What do you think? Give it up for Tony. What a time, huh? I don't live here. I live in New York, and I did not. Okay, heard of it? Cool. <laughs> It's always the people from Jersey making that noise, so I don't believe one second of what you said. Where are you from? New York? Trip. Oh, tri okay, so you have a ton of money. All right, great. Now, uh, I came out here, I've been out here for about a week.